Hello YouTube. So today I want to show you guys something uh, that I don't think many of you have seen. That's an African bullfrog in hibernation. Yeah, Kirby decided he wanted to take a long nap. So I fed him that chicken a few weeks ago. And I fed him a few worms a few days later. And then after that, he went into there, and I haven't seen him in uh, about two and a half weeks, somewhere around there. And I know what he's doing. He's in, he's in a deep sleep. So I'm going to take a look at him, show you guys how he does that. They do this in the wild during the dry season. So, you know, maybe the soil got a little dry and he had a full belly and he was tired, so... He decided to take a long nap. You know, I've had him for 14 years, and he does this almost every year. It varies how long. Sometimes he'll just do it for a couple weeks, and he comes, he comes right out. Other times he's done it for over a month. That's about the longest. So, But in the wild, they can go like well over a year, which I don't think that's really not something many people are going to let their pet do, but... But there he is. As you can see, his eyes are all closed. He's kind of got like a glossy look over him. That's because he's got this uh, like mucus sac all the way around him to hold uh, the moisture in. So then he can just sleep there. A deep sleep. I don't want to bother him, so I'm going to put this back. I don't want to wake him, because I want him to wake. I want him to wake when he wants to wake. But yeah, if you never let your frog sleep, you might want to consider letting him sleep, because it's kind of been proven that if you want him to live, you know, upwards of over 40 years, they got to take these long naps. I don't know if they got to do it yearly, but if, if your frog ever does that, you should let, you should let him. And just keep the cage how you normally would. You know, I keep misting it every day. Soil's still nice and wet. He's got fresh water for when he wakes up. But yeah, I'm just going to let him sleep. Once he gets out of there, he'll be nice and hungry. Fatten him back up. But yeah, he'll just sleep. Mind his own business, you know, a deep sleep is good for you. I think, you know, I've I've heard that normally in captivity, African bullfrogs only live like 10 years on average. And that's because people don't let them sleep like that. So you might want to, if you've got one, let the big frog sleep. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because I think it's kind of cool. I don't think a lot of people know that bullfrogs will do that. But even in captivity, they will do that. Because like I said, it's good for them. I mean, that's what they do in the wild, so they want to do it in captivity too, I guess. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Beautiful day out. Hope everyone's doing good. Check you guys later. Peace. Yeah, there was there was one other thing I wanted to say. I keep seeing all these comments telling people that my house is a mess. You guys do know I don't live out here, right? This is just a little little building I had built just for the pets. <laughs> So the house isn't quite this messy, so I just wanna just wanted to say that. This this is just the the frog house and the tortoise house. And the salamander house. Me and my family, we live in a real house. <laughs> just wanted to put that out there. In case there was any confusion, I'm not sleeping in here with Bruce. So alright. Talk to you guys later. Peace.